neighborhood council, uh, oldest in Vancouver that I'm aware of, and uh, we work with anyone and everyone to try and design our neighborhood and the broader community around us uh, in an elegant way. Um, so why, you know, you, you look at a variety of different options uh, for this arterial, and you know, why am I here? Well, I'm here talking about the impacts on Granby Woodland, which is you know, immediately to the east of your study area. And you know, all of the options you're looking at, with the exception of prior venables, which I'm really assured, reassured to hear uh, Mr. Leclerc say, is really supposed to be more of a baseline, and ideally not considered to be one of the options to, to go forward with. That's, that's very reassuring for, for the Red Bull Air Council, for Red Bull in general, obviously, for Stratcom. Um, but all of the other options we're looking at, they stop at Clark Drive. And they stop Clark Drive for a reason. I mean, I'm trying to figure out which button works. Not, not ah. This is why. So every afternoon, every afternoon we have a tremendous number, you know, thousands of cars rushing out of downtown into you know, long prior battles, causing the kind of problems that they would see. And they continue on through the flats, up Venables, into Grandview Woodland, and then just splinter off into the neighborhood. They, you know, they, they splinter off into streets where people aren't used to seeing a lot of cars racing through trying to find their way out of town. You know, these are streets where people are you know, playing in the streets, where they're cycling along, teaching kids to cycle, you know, wandering around with their dogs. There's cats roaming all over the place free. You know, it, it, these are streets that are meant to be quiet neighborhood streets, not to see a lot of traffic. And every afternoon we have this just explosion of traffic of people who are really in a rush, they're stressed, they're, they're trying to get out of the way of other traffic, and they go, they go filtering off into the neighborhood in a whole variety of ways. Every morning we see the reverse of that, where everybody just filters on back in to try and get to that big circle there at Victoria Drive to try and get onto this route that they see as, as a fairly straight line downtown. Um, whether or not it's actually a fast route downtown is very debatable, but it, it, it's believed to be that way. So we have all these cars every morning as you as you're walking kids to school, as you're cycling along the neighborhood, you've got cars just flying through different neighborhood streets, way too fast, not looking, not stopping for people who are trying to get across the street. It's a very intimidating situation. Further than that, the Victoria Drive was downgraded some years ago, quite a few years ago now, to a neighborhood collective. It's supposed to be basically just for little local traffic coming from the, the adjoining streets. Unfortunately, it's basically a highway. It's been treated as a highway for forever, really, and it, it, it continues to be so, regardless of what the, the intention of the city is to, to bring it down. Because we have all these tens of thousands, you know, the, you know, thousands of thousands of cars coming along here with the intention of going principally down to First Avenue or, or up to Hastings, but, but more so down to First Avenue because the, the right turns a lot easier. Um, it's, it ends up being a, a real mess. It's, it's, it's a real concern for Grand Woodland. We've had fatalities along Victoria Drive in relation to it. People can't get across the street because you know the cars just don't stop. They treat it as a freeway anytime, anytime there's traffic. And you can stand on the corner for five minutes looking at cars trying to get them to stop and nobody will stop for you unless you jump out and pretty much throw yourself in the traffic. So you know that these are the kind of impacts that prior vehicles currently has on us. This is why the wrong way. Ah, there you go. I think I've got it now. Um, so this is why we were coming here to tell you that really prior Venables is not an option. We were very concerned to see it included the way it has been in this. I, I'm really reassured to hear from, from Long Claire and, and others that this, this is really not intended to be an option. I hope you guys understand it that way as well, and that's very important to us. Um, you know, Strathcona deserves to be reconnected to the park space for all the reasons that the, the SRA and Mr. Chan just had to say, Dr. Chan, sorry. Um, City Council committed several times to uh, you know, to return prior minerals to the community. It's over capacity, it's, it's unsafe, it's got serious downstream impacts we've just been talking about into, into our neighborhood, there's cars just streaming through. It could be so much more. Prior minerals could be you know, a, a, a connection between Granby Woodlands and, and, and Strathcona and downtown. It could be an extension of commercial drive with, with you know, vibrant businesses along it. It could be much more than just essentially a highway, which it is now. So what I'd leave you with is just keep in mind that, and I'm sure you're, a lot of, I'm sure you're all aware of this, you're not building a highway here. Like when we think about an arterial, it has to be like really straight, really you know, quick and like that. It doesn't. You know, you're building a street to service this this local area, the, the flats area. You're, you're you're looking to service all the little businesses that might develop here, you know, future residents that might live there. 
you're not looking to build something that's, you know, we, we didn't build a freeway. That, you, you ask any of the city planners in this room, and they'll tell you that's probably the best decision maker we've ever made around transportation is not building that freeway. And, you know, we're lauded world, world, worldwide for this. You know, you're building a, ser a street to serve the flats, make it an elegant, comfortable place for walking and cycling. You know, it doesn't need to be a high-speed through fare. I think, you know, we've come out with the Mayor Council that's supporting uh, Strathcona's proposal for national. I think National Charles is a very, a very viable option. We want that to be really seriously considered from our perspective. Community building matters. What you guys are doing here is, is, is designing the future of that area. You can design, you know, a really elegant, lovely place to live. Don't, don't build a freeway. 